the main ones that I have seen for adiabatic cooling are these two designs. And there may be many more, but on the left-hand side, this is a, a Ref Plus gas cooler condensing unit. They have misting system. It's not, they call it an atomizer. That's it, atomizer, right? Because you're, you're spraying it out and it's, it's spraying it out. And as the fans on the top are, are blowing out top, it's sucking that in and giving it, dropping the temperature of that gas cooler. So when your temperature gets above, I, I don't know the exact numbers for this one, just say it gets a, starts to get above 75 or 80, it will activate uh, the solenoid. And then all of a sudden it will start to cool down the coil. And by that you're spraying out atomized water and it's coming through the coil and really dropping the wet bulb temperature for that coil. So now keeping it below that critical point. And so when we're below that critical point, we have less flash gas and that less flash gas is putting less work on those medium temp compressors. On the right-hand side, we're, we're looking at here, uh, another gas cooler condenser, but these ones have pads. Same, same thing, this is a, a Vapco one. Really cool design. I've seen lots of these types. Some people call them uh, evaporative cooler, swamp cooler. When I was in Australia, that's really the first time I've seen some of these design. But what happens here is you'll, once again, you'll have a uh, water coming up to a solenoid. That solenoid will activate when the certain wet and dry bulb temperature, you hit that certain specific point and it'll activate it and it'll start to drop water across the pads as the fans are blowing up the air. It will suck that air in there, reducing that temperature of that gas cooler. Once again, reducing the amount of flash gas coming out down the drop leg into your flash tank receiver. 